Nassim Haramein was brimming with curiosity and began asking some of the big questions at the age of nine when he had his first experience of greater knowledge. He passed into his young adult years living in a van so he could afford to study the world of physics and living systems full time. He was ultimately labeled a brilliant rebel in the world of physics. In August of this year, he entered another phase of his life, as he was acknowledged by his peers to be one of the most original and paradigm-shifting physicists of the day when he received a prestigious scientific award for his black hole theory, which applies to all of creation. Right. Well, you know, I think that synchronicity is actually evidence of this self-organizing system. And, 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 you know, some people think of it as some god or god organizing creation. Some people think of it, you know, as, uh, you know, spirit and many other things. In what I'm doing, I'm starting to actually pinpoint the dynamics of that self-organizing agent. And, and, uh, and it, it turns out that it, it seems to be the vacuum itself, that the, that, you know, the space between you and I, the space be inside the atom is not empty. It's full of all the information that's radiated into it, and then it's fed back to us as our experience of reality. And so better we become at, um, you know, focusing our intention in of uh, feeding the information to the vacuum of our intention in the most focused way and clear way, then easier it is for the vacuum to feed back an experience that matches closer and closer uh, what we want. And I think that the level of synchronicity increases at the, you know, and it's, it's noticeable uh, because it becomes easier and easier for the vacuum to like feed back, for the universe to feed back uh, what we desire now. Uh, essentially, manifestation is what we're talking about. Manifestation. Yeah. That's right. But it is always a balance between your internal interpretation and uh, what the universe is feeding you back. It's always a little bit different because whenever you feed information to the vacuum, whenever you feed information to the universe, then it's modified by all the rest of people that are feeding information to the universe and it's coordinated so that we all live in the same consensus reality you know people say you create your reality well if everybody everybody created their own reality nobody <laughs> would meet right it would be very lonely you know everybody would be in their own reality by themselves right so there is a consensus, there's a relationship, so that, so that you can, you know, focus on what you want and the, va the universe is going to feed you back, the vacuum is going to feed you back something close to what you want, but that is coordinated with everybody else's intention. With the collective. And that with makes the sense. collective. Yes, right. that makes total sense. This is a very personal glimpse into the work of Nassim Haramein. For the full-length interview, go to ConsciousMediaNetwork.com.